Whoa! <laughs> oh, that has got to be the best trophy ever. Oh, I just picked a berry. Oh, it doesn't do it. Oh, there it does. <laughs> Teleport you to some random location. Alright guys, so let's go see if we can figure out first how to copy this page. Because that's the most important thing is a personal copy of it. Um, let's see here. Uh, magic. Oh, it's going to take a minute to load in. And also we need to automate a couple things. Um, in particular, ink. Uh, so to automate the ink, I'm thinking we may put like an autonomous activator. Um, and... Steve's Factory Manager? Because, you know, we pretty much do everything with Steve's Factory Manager anyway. They're like, Cyclic Assembler? And I'm like, wait. It's exactly what these things do. And a block. Here's your Cyclic Assembler. Alright, we're going to need an interface for the items. Which is going to be a black. We have a recipe for this? No, we do not. So we can actually make a recipe for this really quick. Pop back down to the AE level. Did I get the right one? Oh, that's storage. I never know which one I'm going to sometimes. Uh, so if we do this, there's one pattern. We'll grab some of those. Put that in there with the mortal and pestle. And that gives us black dye. Okay. And we'll just throw this somewhere in here. Looks like we got this level for most of them. So right there. Alright, uh close that out. Put away that for now. Uh I need some conduit cables. See you, Root Helix. Thanks for uh thanks for swinging by, man. And we just happen to have a random hole in the floor right there. Okay, so somewhere around here. I can't remember where I put it up. Oh, yep, that was close. That was very close. Um can okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's see what it's called. Uh, some kind of gate. Let's go ahead and put you right here, though, for the interface. And let's see what should we connect it to. Oh, yeah. One of these guys. I forgot we have these that we can go off of. Uh, double jump. Okay, there we go. Oh, is that what happened? I was like, why do I still have trees that haven't been chopped down? I go and be slacking, that's what. Okay, and there we go. So we need uh, something special for this too. We need one of those. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, there we go. Make it through that hole. Uh, crafting upgrade. Grab that. Uh, we need the black stuff. Grab that. Uh, bottles. Ooh. Uh, 
make a stack of bottles. Because we're pretty much just going to be using them, but not using them at the same time, if that makes sense. Alright, so... Block... So what was it that interacts with blocks? The block gate, I think? So if we put the block gate like this, and then click on it like this, I think that's going to work. And put the manager there. Actually, we can move where that stuff's at. We can put the manager right here if we wanted to. Um, Everfull, we can put you actually. Oh, hold on. So we're going to have this there. Put it on that side. Not sure exactly why I'm doing that, but whatevs. Um, so... Come to this guy, we'll configure it for... A stack? There we go. And stack of these. Okay. So that way when we put those there, they'll actually stick in there. And by putting this in here, we'll see that fill up. Perfect. And where's our arcane block? Ching! So that should kind of... Uh, okay, so... Need this to be next to it. And maybe this too, actually. Let's see, does this require ink? No. But this does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this guy. Um <laughs> this is uh, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. We shall see. Um actually hold on. Let's just grab one of these bottles. Oh. And fill it up. Okay. Just just because uh, we're, we're going to want to store water bo bottles in there temporarily as well. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So. Let's, let's get to the coding part here. <sighs> Trigger, input, output. So we'll start with the trigger. And the trigger is going to input a bottle from the ME interface. Just any old bottle. Whatever direction, whitelist, bottle. I'm going to take this bottle. I'm going to output. I think this will work. Uh, to the block gate. Is that right? Hold on. Steve's factory manager. Inventory relay. Receiver. Receiver. Item valve. Not an item valve. Not a detector. It's got to be a gate. This may or may not do what I want it to. We'll see. Uh, output to there. Items. I think it's just going to spit it out, but we'll see. Yep, just spits them out. All 63 of them? Yeah. Let me turn that to water. Okay. Oh! Alright, so we do need replace that with an autonomous activator. Just something to right click. Never made an autonomous activator yet. Hmm. Activate or requires some T. 
10 gears, I believe they were. Uh, two. What else? Piston. What's in reception coil? She requires power now. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, we could use a golem with a use core. Set it to specific items. Like, what would it do after it used it, though? Would it actually think? And put the item back once it fills it up with water. Great. Why did they have to change autonomous activators? Why, guys? Why? Does more than a tooltip can explain. I mean, seriously, what was, what was wrong that they had to make it take power now? <sighs> I guess it was too overpowered. Okay, put you back. I'm sure that's, there's something that does it without power. The other side of it basically is going to be input from that items bottle and black something powder. Those are cool looking. Uh, it's around Botania. Black flower. Floral black powder. Okay, items. There we go. Tell that to go to a crafting auto crafter. It's going to take the Bottle. Uh, floral black times two. Give us that. Uh, craft and then move. Excessive inner inventory there. And I'll put to this guy. that actually do something? Haha! -ha, now we have a glass bottle, okay. And then... Oops, didn't mean to get a condition in there. And put inventories there. Nope, this guy. Whatever target. Items straight up bottle and I'll put inventories there select a target so what, what do you guys think what could I use to fill the water bottles cyclic assembler I guess item valve is what I want but the item valve picks up items. 
Um, I don't think I've ever used it for right-clicking stuff. Liquid input, liquid... Hmm. I wonder... Let's go ahead and hook up a uh, cable there. Or just move this thing back one. <laughs> Contains water. Uh... Oh my god, hold on. Could we... Ah. Um. Just whatever. You don't, you don't need anything in here. Get rid of this. Condition, liquid output. Yeah, I know we can move around liquids, but can we craft with liquids? This definitely does require a water bottle. Let's see here. What if we do this crafter? We can make a... Wait, what? Uh, no. I'm crafting like that? I don't think so. What if we combine a bottle plus water equals water bottle? Hmm. Someone said item valve. Let me just go ahead and grab one, and I really don't think that's going to do what I want it to, but uh, who knows? Maybe it can, like, right click and stuff. Uh, it's my understanding that it's just basically used for. Alright, so we'll place it, like, right here. I'm pretty sure it's just used for picking up items, though. So let's see here. Output item valve items bottle. Oh, should be whitelist. Trigger input output. Input inventories ME interface. Whatever items, bottles. Throw that away. Connect those. Do I not have a target? That's weird. What you doing with the floor black powder? Stop it! <laughs> uh, that's that's what happens when you have multiple chains together like that. So let me just grab this. It on its own little trigger over here. There we go. And Let's see here we go to input inventories. Like that. Uh, 
No. Oh, hold on. We haven't gotten the glass bottle and put it back to where it belongs. Why haven't we gotten the glass? Oh, what was that? Okay. Did, hold on. Did that actually do something? If I put a single glass bottle in there. It, it literally just spit it out, because that's all that the item valve does. Oh. You know, the autonomous activator takes... Whoops! And we just lost all the programming we had on that. There's the downside of Steve Factory Manager. <laughs> ah, so anyway, we got that. Um, we have this page here. I wonder if we can, like... just lose it so we're gonna we're gonna google this bear with me guys oh miscraft symbols yes uh, descriptions writing a world yes I wonder how outdated this might be Seems to have ice planes, so that's relatively good. Ice mountains and ice planes. I was thinking to be in here because here you can. If I put this in here, it's going to give me a link page. If I put it in here, uh, and then this in here, maybe? Is that... Uh, not doing what I think it should. Bookbinder? There's a blank page. Okay, now we have a now we have a blank page. Um, ah, jeez, ah, jeez. If we put you in here, so we can't we can't put pages in here. This is for paper only to make linking pages. Uh, this binder, I'm pretty sure that's going to do exactly what we think it's going to do and bind books. Uh, balls. Uh, start. Gameplay, ages, instability, writing. I think writing's what we were after. Writing an age is uh act of adding symbols representing different features to a descriptive book in order to make a customized age. Uh, gaining control, notebook, writing desk, book binder. Alright, that's what the writing desk says here. I see him put a notebook. Looks like they have ink that goes in there as well, and that might be why we didn't actually write anything. Um, so let's do this, shall we? Let's see how this gets handled. Oh, we forgot that we got rid of all that stuff. Okay. Grab this. And we can 
and shapeless craft this, but it's such a pain in the ass. Each bottle, you know. Do, 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 do. Hey, at least the ink bottles stack. That's good to know. And we'll put them in here. So we have ink in here. At the very top are the two utility features. The AZ button sorts. Left area is the symbols. So this is where the symbols go. So if we put like some here, maybe. I think that's used for actually creating books. Uh, 25 slots numbered 0 through 24. Any, at any time. Oh, so that's, you can select different slots and have different things in them. On the right side, devoted to copying and managing pages. Copy it. Copy that. Copy that. Copy that. Okay. Uh, the top for paper and ink. Paper. Okay, we have ink, we have paper, copy that. <laughs> uh, the bar next shows the level of the current ink when the when empty and ink. Blah, 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 blah. Each bottle can write about 25 pages. Wow. Below the paper slots is another slot which can hold a book or a simple page. This is the working slot. When you copy a symbol, it shows up here. Maybe... So... Do I need paper? Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, if there is a notebook in the slot, it will be added to the end of the notebook. If any pages here... If any book is placed here, the track in the middle of the section, blah, 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 blah. Uh... So it kind of mentioned copy. You can pick up and move the pages by left clicking them or copy them to the right side of the test by right clicking on them. Okay. Yay! Now we have a copy. Copy that. So can we use straight up paper like that too? No, actually, oh, yeah, we can. Good stuff, good stuff. We'll just make a couple copies of it then. Copy that. So, there's that. To prevent us from coming back to this terminal ever again. Let's grab a cable. Uh, Mr. There, so... 
could put it like right here. Like this. Yeah, that's probably good. Cool. What? There we go. So I think these notebooks... Hold on. Oh... Oh... So these notebooks, some of them I got from... The libraries, but it looks like they magically contain pages in them. Sort it. So that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and grab all the notebooks. Alright, anything in this one? Oh yeah. Look at that! We had Ice Plains biome. It was hidden in one of the books. Ha! Do they stack when they're in here? East direction? I wonder what that means. I wonder what the colors mean. Tendrils, I know what that means. Purifying fluid block? Notebooks in here for now. Can we like shift click and put them in here? No, we actually have to drag them. Apparently. When you try to sort with multiple stacks of them, it doesn't work. That kind of sucks. Ah, I did it again. Dang it. Do, 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 do. There we go. I think there might just be a bug with the auto sort feature. Or those are the extra ones? I don't know. Like, you see meteors is listed twice there? Alright, there we go. That's better. One of these should be empty. There we go. So we'll take you, and we'll put you there. Because that's the one we're going to be writing to. Uh, we're going to have some frozen river sounds awesome. Hi, baby! Hi. Uh, we'll do one of the ice plains biomes. Oh. You need your back scratcher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Alright, before we actually use this though, let's copy that. <laughs> That's cool. Nice. Uh, okay. Um Stone Beach biome actually sounds kind of like it might fit in as well. Except I'd want it to be frozen, so. So far we have ice planes and frozen. Milk block, uh, molten nickel block, interesting, and origin biome. That's an awesome origin. Uh, I mean, awesome biome, by the way. Put away those 
those black. That, put away those. Put away that for now. We had an extra notebook on us. Oh yeah, that's the other one we took out. All right, let's start from the bottom and just canyon biome, cave world, floating islands, green color, gray color. Ooh. Ice mountains. <laughs> that was the other one we were looking for. Um, probably gonna go with the large biome distribution. Lush river, meteors, nutrient distillation, purifying. Rocket fuel, spheres, spheres, sunflower planes, and now that guy's all empty. Let's go and put those up. Oop. Except for those there. All right. So it looks like we have. It's the one we're working on. This guy's empty. Right? Completely empty. You? Also completely empty. Okay. Surprised that they don't stack. That's kind of weird. Frozen ocean biome. Probably gonna throw that in there too, just so we have what, clear modifiers? Heck, what would clear modifiers do? Say, King Daddy D Mac. Thanks for tuning in, man. And showing off that awesome wand you got. Let's see, clear mod. Interesting. Using the clear modifier symbol. At the end, will at least minimize the damage from dangling modifiers. Okay, we'll duplicate that too. Uh, molten aluminum block, molten lead block, Arctic biome. Huh. No seas. Yeah, we won't see his caves. Fire water, normal stars. Molten. Floating islands. Amplified, we want it to be amplified. Spontaneous explosions. Don't really care about spontaneous explosions. I don't know about you guys, but um, I think we can live without spontaneous explosions. All right, we'll go ahead and let's see here. Throw this in here. Not sure what to expect of the Arctic biome. Let's see if I can find a picture of it. Um, yeah, that's not really gonna show me what I'm looking for, is it? No. All right, so there's another empty mist. Notebook, biomass, meh. Birchwood, meh. Crystalline, meh. Cyan, nope. Deep lakes. Magenta, ice plains biome. We've gotten that one a couple times now. Floating islands, star fissure. I think star fissure is basically going to give us a way back home. Um, yeah, I think I think we might do that. Sky color, mushroom meteors. Dense ores. Okay, there's another. I teed up one of those guys. And just two more notebooks to do. Oh, that one's already empty. Copy that. And essence. Sacred Springs biome. Big fan of Sacred Wait. Water block? Crushed ice block? Milk block? Destabilized redstone. Gelid cryothium. Nice, nice. Plains, wasteland. 
meteors, crystalline, spikes. Uh, hold on a second here. So these blocks are solid blocks. A uh, few valid for terrain, that is, you can make a world out of them. All of them are valid blocks for structures, tendrils, spikes. So basically that would be... You would combine uh, spikes blocks with uh, one of the kind of solid blocks, or sphere blocks. And it would use the solid as that. So that's kind of cool. So I'd do like crushed ice solid blocks, or spikes, and that would have crushed ice spikes. Uh, not gonna use it though. Just putting that away. Yeah, all of these notebooks should be empty. So, just for the sake of having it, we're just gonna throw it in there. Uh, amplified, just make sure we have a copy of all of these before we, especially this one. I think that one's relatively important there is the clear modifiers one. There's an ocean, there's a river, ice mountains, ice plains, large biomes, and a starfish. Okay. So now we have a copy of all of them. And starfish should give us a way back, but just in case. Do we have any extra linking books? We have some we can just throw away. Uh, that one should be good. Alright, so I don't know how this works. Like, is that... Okay, so that's a book, right? A lot of stuff in it, right? How do I turn that into a world? Linking book, unlinked book, notebook, descriptive book. All right, let's check out this. this. Go over all these in further detail later. Where will the uh, writing an age the act of writing symbols to different of different features to a descriptive book in order to make a customized age? Let's check on uh, descriptive books. See how it says. Uh, creating a linking book and descriptive book requires a linking panel in order to be created. These are standard crafting recipe to create unlinked linking books. Or the first page in the book binder for a descriptive book. Leather and a link panel. Okay. So we need to make. Uh, let's grab some of that paper. Not like we don't have a bunch of paper, but. So, link panel page. Grab some. Don't have much leather. Some leather. So, there's a descriptive book. And I think we can add pages like this. No. Did I just screw up, guys? I think I just did, I think I just screwed up completely. So uh, I think what I meant to do was to grab these. them in here yeah that's what I what that's what I needed to do um, nope, 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 nope. and be 
piece of leather. And I guess we also need a... page. Uh, is that? <sighs> we'll name it the Jims's Realm. <sighs> Jeez, did I screw up something here again? Descriptive books are used by players to reach brand new ages, and by experienced players to create entirely new ages. Descriptive are created in the bookbinder using leather, a link panel, and potentially symbols or sheet of paper. second so we've got to make sure that uh, this guy is gonna be at the very end and I guess this at the very front sweet there we go uh, let's grab a lectern put away the stuff we don't need can we like destroy age 33 <laughs> Whoops. Guessing those are all applied to it. It's not just a book with. <sighs> Jeez, did I do that wrong, guys? Let's see your leather in one slot, then right click the book. When you have the book binder open, plus the panel. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Okay. Sounds good. So we'll probably just throw this guy in the trash can. Uh, we got. Put those away. Actually, we'll keep one lectern on us. Here goes nothing. And I uh, yeah. accelerated. Oh. Huh. Uh Well then, I guess that uh, that about wraps things up for tonight, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll give Hypno a second to bring things back online, and hopefully, it wasn't too too much too bad uh huh 
That was a little unexpected. Might take a couple minutes for it to boot back up. <sighs> so in the meantime, what else is going on? Uh, good times, good times. We've been doing the double episodes to YouTube every day now. Um, I was looking at things when I was highlighting this week's videos, and it looks like uh, this next week we should catch up to the one week behind point. And, uh, is that where it crashed? <laughs> So yeah, once we do get to the uh, one week behind point, I think I'm going to quite possibly invest in some video editing software. I guess it's supposed to come back up on its own. Connection failed. Um, and perhaps have both I thought about this, and it's a little more work than work for me than a little more work than I'd like to have. Basically, I was thinking that maybe we take our streams, continue doing what we have currently, where we upload from Twitch, <laughs> and. Uh, So we would have those coming up, and I'd actually like tag them with which day they were recorded. But I also thought that maybe I can start doing some separate YouTube videos where I go, <laughs> go in and uh, just do some editing and stuff and tidy up and kind of give like a, a YouTube update kind of thing and make them uh, better trimmed down and... Um, uh, more for my YouTube viewers than for you guys. Uh, so that way if you guys miss a stream, you can watch it. Or if you want to just catch up on watching a YouTube video, you can do that as well. Uh, that was my thinking behind it. We have this a couple more minutes. I'm just really curious how this realm is going to come out. And I kind of want to... Um... Wow! Okay, that's it. You're getting timed out. Let's not hear that again, Ian. Not appropriate for little kids or adults. Oh. Here we go, guys. Spawn point. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't crash, don't crash. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. And... Oh, okay, quick. This is not at all like what I wanted to create. Oh, what the heck. I guess it just randomly gets other biomes tossed in as well. Um, here we are with the frozen sea biome, I'm guessing. No, frozen river. You gotta eat so I can regen some health. Lots of bad stuff, so the 
clearing thing that I had at the end really didn't do much for me. And we got these fissures right here. It's basically if we fall in the fissure that should take us back. I'm not seeing any of the icy ones. Is this... So Arctic is a very bad... So Arctic, no bueno. So we'll leave that out next time. What's this? Ice Mountains? Uh... Not icy. So I guess we'll leave that out, maybe? Frozen River is definitely frozen, but it's... Oh, jeez. Was that me decent? Okay, I'm done. So, guys, tune in on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be my next stream day. Uh, catch me then. And um, I, th I think until then, I'm probably going to be going single player just to get an idea of, hey, this is how you make Miscraft Worlds. <sighs> Stop messing up the server. Um, so, yeah, until then, guys, take care. <laughs>